Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 6th of November 2020 and the time has just gone 9.35 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is gold. Um, this here is a wider term view of the gold market. Uh, essentially the market rallied to an all-time high in August. Uh, not surprisingly, it had a fairly sharp correction. Um, markets don't move in straight lines and all that. And it was trading range bound for a number of uh, for, for, for a number of weeks or even even a couple of months. And if you take a look at the price action, if anything, it's been broadly been moving lower the last few um, the last few months. But in the context of the wider upward trend, but if you take a look at the price action in the last few sessions, um, basically nearly in the last week or so, it has been moving higher. Yesterday was a very bullish day. The markets broke uh, above the 50-day moving average, this, this blue line here, uh, which comes into play in around 1914. Um, that's at its highest level since late-ish September. So the market seems to be kind of snapping out of, of the kind of recent kind of, you know, out of sideways or even negative trend that it's been in. If it can continue to hold above this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, it's likely we could see the, uh, the wider upward trend continue. And should that be the case, it could take us back towards the high scene in mid-September in around 1973. And if you go beyond that, we could then be looking heading up towards the $2,000 mark. That would be like the next big number to the upside. I just want to point out that on a few occasions in the last few months, the 50-day moving average, this blue line here, will act as support here, but also as resistance here, and also act as a resistance again only very recently. So it seems to me that that, that, that metric um, has been of importance recently, and it could act as new. It could act as support should we see a drift lower in the near term. So if we do drift lower, we could even be a case, even find a case of whereby we drift back towards the 50-day moving average and then continue on in the wider upper trend. But if we do have a fairly decent break below that, it could take us back down toward this area here in around 1860, the lows uh, of late October. And if we go beyond that. We could be looking at heading back down for this area here at 1848, the lows of late September. And, you know, if we take out those lows, to be honest, there isn't, there isn't, there isn't really a whole lot of ground below that which could potentially act as resistance. So if we could take out 1848, that would then put us back to levels last season since June. So it could even take us back down towards the kind of 1800 mark. So keep an eye on those levels in the near term um, for the for, for gold. If you are going to be trading gold, keep an eye on what's been going on with the U.S. dollar. Um, the U.S. The, the there's been a strong inverse relationship between the two markets uh, in the last few months. Uh, it's been particularly strong very recently. So any days you've seen a rally in gold, it's often because of a weak weak dollar. And any any days you've seen a large sell off in gold, it's usually be, because um, there has been an upward move in the dollar, and what do you know? The last few sessions, we've seen a very much aggressive move to the downside in the U.S. dollar index. Uh, in fact, even to, on today's session, uh, it fell back to a level last seen in, in early September. So we're talking, it's not a real coincidence that the U.S. dollar index dropped to a two-month low, and we, we're seeing multi-week highs, kind of six, seven-week highs in the gold market. So keep an eye on what's going on with the U.S. dollar index uh, if you are going to be trading gold. Uh, we also want to talk about is if you're trading gold, the dollar index, or quite frankly, any uh, of the financial markets today. Today is the first Friday of the month, uh, so that means it's U.S. Non-Farm Payrolls Day. Uh, and those figures will be released at 13.30 um, GMT. So obviously, we, we could see a lot of volatility um, in the markets. If you do happen to be watching the video today uh, in advance of, of, the, of, the, of, that, of, the, uh, of the update, my colleague Michael Houston is actually holding a live webinar uh, today at 13.15 GMT, covering which, which, which you can sign up for on our website, cmcmarkets.com, under insights, under webinars and events, and that will be live coverage and reaction to the numbers itself. Uh, that's all from this week. Have a good trading week and good luck.